Hi, this is Marie. I'd like to share with you a technique I'm having lots of fun with in, the, in Flame Painter. So we have the before picture on the left and the finished picture on the right. The original painter is on Wikimedia Commons. It's a cotton carter in India. And you check with the permission. You say, you see you have permission to use it. Um, it's a little pale as an image, so I'll go to Sumo Paint and I've um, uh, accentuated the contrast in Sumo. So you see the original and the contrasted image. So I'll bring this contrasted image into Flame Painter. I go to File, Open, and then I go Browse to get the um, picture which is uh, more contrasted. I contrasted in Sumo Paint. So there it is. Now I could paint it directly into uh, directly on the image, but you'll see the effects. I choose a brush there and paint directly on the image, but it doesn't give um, very nice results. So I go back with the eraser and instead I'll go to tools and create a back layer. So you see the back layer is underneath. I'll have to put it on top by going to tools again and swap layers. So you see the back layer is on the top. It's a front layer. So when I paint with the brush on the black layer, the underneath image appears. Now I'm presently using the gradient on a lighten mode to um, put some light color into the picture. I can also go to darken and subdue some of the um, light I put here. And go back to lighten and lighten up parts of the image like that. I can also change my gradients, so let's go to a different gradient and put some different colors in there. In gradients. So I'll go back to tools and swap the layers so the original painting is on top and I'll go put some, some uh, gradients directly into the picture. I can also use some color instead of the gradient, so I click into the color uh, square and brighten up the color and change it to yellow, let's say, and then put in some yellow. Now I don't like that yellow, so I'll click on back underneath eraser. I love that back button, so I can take out anything I put in. Um, I'll go change the brushes and take a soft, the soft lines, choose gradients, and let's go see what gradients we have here. Let's try it there, and uh, I'll choose a darken. And let's try darken, and that's not right, so I erase it, and that's better. I shouldn't overwork it, so I think that's about it. So to save the image, first I'll have to go to Tools and Collapse to Back. 
so that the two image are blended to together and then I go back to tools and swap layers so the image I want is up on the top so I can save it. I go to file and save as I'll go choose a name like um, flame cotton I think and click on save so when I go to sumo paint here I can uh, click on upload select files to upload and then select the flame cotton and open I'll go back to my images and there you have it in Sumo Paint so there you have it I hope you liked it and I hope you'll have fun and and publish to Sumo and share with me. Bye.